welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, hey, what's up? And if you're back, hi, thank you so much for coming back. Today's episode I'm really excited about. It is what I eat in a week during quarantine because that is what we are in. I'm super nasally because my allergies are so freaking awful. Um, but I'm really excited about this. I just want to jump into it. But before that, I do want to mention that uh, there is like no right or wrong way. Everyone's body is completely different. A little disclaimer, I guess, because I really don't want to be hit with so many comments about, oh, you shouldn't eat this or you shouldn't say that and you should do this and you shouldn't do that. We all can do our own thing this is me literally just sharing exactly what I eat in a week Monday through Friday um, and every week is different some weeks I'm like so gung-ho on being super clean and some weeks I'm like to F with that I am going to grab the bag of chocolate chips I'm going to grab the Oreos like it's all about just listening and just fulfilling whatever makes you happy um, so I just wanted to say that majority of the time I do eat clean and I really do try to eat most mostly vegetarian I kind of have been growing up with that because my dad has heart conditions so um, meat just does not really appetize or appetize me or does not really like you know make me I don't crave meat, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I just wanted to make that little note before going into the video. But yeah, and also I just wanted to mention that on a day-to-day -day basis, I do try my best to move my body. And so usually I'll do a two mile walk, that's like my minimum, and anything on top of that is a bonus. And I'll try to do that in the beginning of my days before even eating anything, uh, just so that I kind of wake up my body, I fuel my body, and I get that done. Because me, knowing me personally, I will not exercise if it is not done in the morning. I don't know why, I just have absolutely no motivation and to be completely honest, sometimes I hate working out. So walking is something that I have found that I can do, I'm excited to do it, I'm happy, it's therapeutic for me um, and there's so many health benefits of, for walking. So uh, that is what I do and then a little bit of toning in addition to that. So that's it, I just uh, wanted to leave that little note. I hope that you do enjoy this video. If you have any comments, any questions, any thoughts, Please go ahead, definitely let me know them in the comments below. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let's get to it. For breakfast, we're making a smoothie. So we have frozen mixed berries, a mango that is going really bad, two bananas, and we're gonna put some, a little bit of coconut milk and a Greek yogurt. mason jar and I'm going to add a little bit of granola to it and then some walnuts. Alright so now I'm just going to add in a couple walnuts and I'm going to top it with just three raspberries and this is the final product. Really good and usually we put peanut butter in our smoothies but this morning we did not. I am missing the taste of peanut butter but I also like to keep some of that for um, snacks with like banana or something so it all works out it's 1 20 and we are about to have lunch i'm going to try my best not to snack before eating so let's see what happens mm. So for lunch, I decided to just make a salad with cucumber, tomatoes, arugula, a little bit of feta cheese, and a leftover sweet potato that we had. I really like to have salads for lunch. I don't really like to have anything heavy because I can nap in a blink of an eye. Uh, so I really like that. And I just usually make my own dressings. I don't really like to buy store-bought uh, dressings. So I'll go ahead and I'll top it with some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And that's literally it. Okay, it's all dressed and I put a rice cake here. Sometimes I eat one, two, sometimes three, but I try not to eat bread. So rice cakes have been a great alternative. I know it's not like a direct substitute, um, but it's really good. I love the crunch and I like the wild rice flavor. So that's my little tidbit. Bread just makes me feel really 
uh, tired, exhausted, groggy, and it just makes me feel like bloated and gross. So I try my best to not eat that during the week. After lunch, I get a really big sweet tooth. So right now I have some raisins, walnuts, and little tiny chocolate chips that uh, I'm just gonna snack on and get a glass of water because I have not had a drink of water today, a sip of water, so. Snacking on these gluten-free everything baked crackers. I don't know, Jules and Pat introduced me to them. They're good, but the bag comes with like two. Mm -hmm. So have fun eating that. They look like this. Some garlic hummus and some cheese. I'm starving before dinner. This is right after the uh, chips and hummus and cheese. So now I'm putting just a little bit of chili that we had last night in a tiny little, if you could see, like it's a little tiny bowl. And I'm gonna just drizzle some uh, hot, what was it, hot jalapeno olive oil and a little bit of hot sauce. A little pre-dinner snack. I think we're having salmon for dinner that Alex is making. So, but I'm starving right now. So instead of continuing to snack, I figured I would do this. And because I'm still hungry, I'm going to take a couple, close the bag, and then go. For dinner, we have salmon, broccoli, squash, no, zucchini? Zooks. Zucchini salmon. and a green salsa on top of the salmon that is consisted of parsley, lemon juice, garlic, salt and pepper. So, Just salmon. wanted to say that we added the soy sauce, or it's actually liquid aminos, um, to the vegetables, and I got a rice cake because I wanted a little crunch, and as you know now, I really don't eat bread, so that is it. All right, I'm having a sweet tooth, or I have a sweet tooth, and this might be weird. You think it's weird? It's so weird. All right, Don't well, worry. let's try it. Grapes dipped in a little bit of peanut butter. This is Jules trying it. Let's see what your thoughts are. <laughs> oh, okay. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Okay, and then just to uh, add to it, we're gonna have a little bit of this again, and I'm not gonna go through that, but Yes, we're gonna have the lemon poppy seed muffins. I'm gonna finish by having one or two prunes. They're great for digestion, will help you keep things moving along, and they're super sweet, so they um, they kind of crave that sweet tooth. Crunchy peanut butter, too. It's good. You like it? <laughs> okay, it's Tuesday morning, and I'm about to make a fruit bowl. So usually I do my fruit bowls without any dairy or milk. Uh, I kind of just eat it dry. I don't know. I just tr really try avoiding dairy, and I don't really want to have oat milk every single day. So I'm going to have the strawberries, and I usually try to buy organic. So these are organic strawberries right now. The organics already had like mold on them in the supermarket. So I ended up getting non-organic, but I'm not thrilled about that. But it is what it is. Um, and a banana and walnuts. And I'm going to add some cinnamon to it and have it nice and dry. I know I eat it with a fork, but it slows me down and it allows me to have smaller bites. So it kind of uh, allows me to get full when I'm actually full and not overeat. It's 12.38, but we're in the middle of doing something. So I'm just going to snack on a couple pretzels. These are the best things ever. Okay, for lunch today, I'm going to have a kale, arugula, cucumbers, uh, red peppers, and some corn because I love corn. And I'm going to dress it with some apple cider vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper and have some pretzels on the side or a rice cake. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and since I'm still hungry after that salad, but more so for something sweet, I'm going to make rice cake. I need to pull out another one, but rice cake and peanut butter and jelly. And it is the best thing. It is 10 times better than being on regular bread. Try it and let me know what you think. Anyone who has tried it has absolutely become addicted. So maybe you shouldn't try it, but I'm just kidding. Give it a try and let me know what you think. I love crunchy peanut butter, so I try to get 100% peanuts, peanuts being the only ingredient and no salt or very low salt because salt is not needed. Once you make the change away from a Jif or any of those, you know, huge brands, you will taste the difference and you will be like, ah, this is kind of chalky and not really amazing. But let me tell you, once you get used to it, it is amazing. And now when I have Jif, I'm like, this just tastes so artificial, sort of. This is a strawberry. Uh, you can find it really pretty much at any supermarket. I love this one. I think it is so delicious. This one is preserves, but they do have a jam one. 
just because of the situation right now we didn't find any of the regular jam so definitely take a look but either works all right now i'm gonna make a little iced coffee because i just want a little pick me up it's around three o'clock right now i have my ice water chilling which i'm gonna add after i have the instant coffee which i know that i don't know i just need to find a better brand but this is literally all they had at the stu at the supermarket and then oat creamer first i'm gonna put some instant coffee in and then i'm gonna put four tablespoons of the creamer add some ice and then pour some water over it And there we have our nice iced coffee. It has hazelnut because this oat creamer is hazelnut and it's delicious. And to top it all off, because I'm in one of those moods, I am going to have a little bit of the lemon poppy seed muffins that we made. Wow, and tonight nice. for dinner we're having jambalaya made by Patrick. <laughs> we will definitely let you know what we think about it. Here is the serving, probably one of many, and a little glass of rosé. We have rice cakes, a little hot olive oil, and uh, jalapeno. I'm snacking, snacking on a pretzel, but this is it. This is delicious. I'm gonna have to ask him for the recipe. Did you make the recipe yourself, or what's happening? We found one online, but okay. we, we uh, adjusted it. So we bless you. It. God bless you, little Enjoy one. That. All right, and for dessert, since uh, I'm addicted to these, I'm going to go ahead what and these, have babe? some. The lemon poppy, I already had it like 20 minutes ago. It is Wednesday morning, and I'm about to make another fruit bowl. So basically exactly what I did yesterday, banana, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, but this time I'm going to use this plant-based Siggy's coconut blend yogurt. Um, it is pretty high in sugar, so Jules and I have just been eating half uh, each walnuts and cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all together. In the house, and I'm in the house hungry, and these are literally uh, so good. I will keep eating them. Okay, it's lunchtime. I am just going to have leftovers from yesterday, so a little bit of rice, a little bit of the jambalaya that Pat made and some uh, veggies that I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce on and just eat that because I'm too lazy to create anything right now. This is what my plate looks like and I'll probably grab a rice cake and eat it. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited. I also eat pretty much anything cold because I am way too lazy to reheat things. So this is cold right now and I like it that way. It is my night to make dinner, so I'm making honey balsamic vinegar, or sorry, honey balsamic vinegar Brussels sprouts, which are about to go into the oven. We coated them with honey, balsamic vinegar, LL, go figure, salt, pepper, and olive oil, and it's going in in the oven at 425. And then I'm making a salad niçoise. It's like a classic French salad with steamed vegetables, hard boiled eggs, tuna fish, and yeah. And I have Jules over here helping me. Thanks, to <laughs> Just, yeah. The dinner is served. We have the Brussels sprouts, the canned tuna fish, the four hard boiled eggs or soft boiled olives, and a whole pot of steamed veggies with the dressing right over here. All right, this is my plate and probably gonna have seconds. What do we think? Really good. Wow. Well, don't tell them how much I paid Perfect. you to say ten. that. 10 okay. out of 10, would recommend. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee and this California Farms gluten-free oat creamer. It is hazelnut flavored. I think I used it the other day when I made iced coffee. I don't really know how much I put in, but mm, okay. I stopped putting sugar in my coffees and teas, which has been great. This one has one gram added sugar. Um, it's pretty good, so if you're willing to try it, I really haven't done much research on it, but I like it. All right, and then I made a little bowl of walnuts, a little granola cereal, and then this yogurt, which is the Siggy's plant-based coconut blend. This one is mixed berries. It's non-dairy, and the sugars, let's see, mm, seven grams added sugars. That's my issue with these things, but, you know, cheat yourself sometimes.
So Jules was actually leaving this day and the day kind of got away with us from just doing different things. So we decided before she left that we would make these uh, zucchini banana chocolate chip muffins that we had previously tried to make but totally did not do it the right way. So this is just us trying to remake it before she left uh, and the recipe will be linked down below. They turned out to be absolutely delicious. We have our batter right over there and I'm going to use, someone suggested using an ice cream scooper so that every scoop is the same. Consistent. Consistent. And here's our tray. We don't have covers or whatever cupcake thing so this is just what we're going to do. They are delicious, so freaking good and pretty healthy so definitely try these out and if you do let me know. All right, I'm having a snack and I'm having a cucumber with salt. I had coffee that you saw and I really think that that eliminated my appetite. So it's five o'clock and this is pretty much the second thing that I'm actually eating today besides like three muffins that we made. Yeah, not proud of it, but it is what it is and I really have no idea what else to eat or snack on. So I'm just waiting for my brother to come home until I actually eat something substantial, maybe pasta or mac and cheese tonight. Today for dinner, I'm making family size Annie's shells and white cheddar macaroni and cheese. We made this last week, but a different flavor kind, I don't know. Um, this one reminds me of spring break, or not spring break, my senior week in college. So I'm really excited. Today feels like Friday, it's Thursday. So we're just going for some mac and cheese right now. Nice and easy recipe that I can barely make, but it's fine. Okay, this is my bowl, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish the entire pot. So family size is fifth size. It is Friday, happy Friday. I'm going to make a little smoothie to start off my day. So I have mixed berries, frozen mixed berries. I have a little bit of chocolate chips, granola that I'll add after with coconut flour, coconut flour, sorry. Coconut, like little pieces, cinnamon, walnuts, and peanut butter. So the base is, oh, and yogurt. So I'm gonna do yogurt and berries and peanut butter and then put those things on top. All right, last meal of the week. Well, actually, probably a dessert after this, but this is kava. And what about Saturday? No, that's a weekend so, vlog. Oh, oh, oh. So I got some falafel and greens, a lot of vegetables. I didn't get chicken. I just got the falafel. And Greek, uh, not Greek, yogurt. Oh, my God. Tzatziki. Garlic, garlic no, sauce. Garlic sauce on the side. Dressing. This is delish. It is dessert time at Friday night, and I'm having the muffins that we made and some oat milk with ice. All right guys, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Week vlog. Uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, go ahead, let me know. Leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and that's it, I think. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but I'm gonna leave, and I hope you guys have a great night or day, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.